Under sunny skies, the city of Seattle, Washington prepares for the launch of Bertha, the TBM that will soon begin a historic two-mile journey beneath the streets of the city. Bertha's mission? To replace the earthquake-damaged viaduct that has been on the waterfront for more than 60 years. The TBM arrived here from Japan in April. We've spent the last few months assembling it and testing it. And we wanted to have a ceremony just to celebrate the TBM being here, ready to go for tunneling before we started tunneling. And in a matter of weeks, Bertha, the massive machine behind me, will begin tunneling beneath downtown Seattle at nearly five stories tall and more than 300 feet long. Bertha is the largest tunneling machine the world has ever seen. Bertha is bold, like her namesake, Bertha Landis, the first female mayor of a large city in the United States. What she's going to do is make the Emerald City and its waterfront the envy of the world. When I look down into this pit, I don't see just the big machine. I see determination. I see innovation. I see teamwork. I see the symbol of a community that worked together to move us forward. We feel it's very important that the public have a chance to see what they're getting, have a chance to come up here and see it close, uh, because at the end of the day it's their money and they're the ones that are going to be benefiting from the project in the long term. The TBM is the largest in the world and the cutter head at 17.48 meters in diameter weighs almost 800 tons. The cutter head rotates at a rate of one revolution per minute, and the machine is expected to advance at about 36 feet per day. A unique feature of the machine is the ability to change cutters at atmospheric pressure from within the spokes of the cutter head. Behind the bulkhead, 56 thrust jacks will push off of the concrete segment rings used to line the tunnel. More than two miles of conveyor belt will transport the 850,000 cubic yards of material that will be removed during the excavation. This is the brain of the machine. With this you send uh, signals to all of the different uh, working parts of the machine. On the bottom part you have all the excavation measurements. There you receive all the measurements from all your uh, sensors and different systems in the TBM and that is where the main work of the operator is going. So there he controls all the parameters and rotation, pressure on the cutter head and everything. We are um, on time and on budget and that's fabulous. Yeah, for a job that is um, this amazing and incredible and difficult, because there's nothing easy about this job from, from a one of a kind in the world and the conditions we're going to go under. Um, and we've been um, under contract for two years now, so it's a very good place to be. In Seattle, Washington, Sterling Noreen for TunnelTalk.com.